Yo, what up Street Talks, Eric Kim, or The Thought. How to make more meaningful black and white photos. So, what does it mean to make more meaningful black and white photos? Why is this important and so forth? So, uh, some, uh, some uber basic thoughts. So first and foremost, I think black and white and monochrome is essentially like a certain way of life. It's, it, it, it's not only an aesthetic, but it's also kind of this uh, philosophy where you're shooting monochrome. I think the world tends to simplify, it tends to harden, it tends to focus. And I do know that like, I mean, I, I love all photography and I, I love color too, but you know, uh, you know, thinking about like kind of like Heraclitus vibes, it's like the the ending is the beginning, the beginning is the ending kind of thing. Actually, my initial love in photography was first black and white. I think the the primary reason was um, it just felt more artistic to me. Starting off, it's like more abstract and stuff like that. And also, uh, um, you know, when I first started digital photography, right, like uh, shooting Canon SD six hundred, you know, in, uh, Canon digital point and shoot, color just aesthetically just didn't look as nice. Monochrome uh, making things look in black and white actually just did aesthetically look better. I mean, I think we are in a time where we're lucky enough that actually uh, digital color photos look really beautiful now too. So you, you essentially have a choice now. But I still do find myself coming back to monochrome because it seems like the photos just tend to age better. And this is my thought is that Perhaps photos or art feels more, you know, quote, quote, artistic when it is more divorced from reality where, because, you know, obviously no one sees the world in black and white. And there's, I mean, too much this like, you know, silly nonsense about like, oh, photos must depict factual reality, but there's always bias in everything. Even in documentary photography, everything is biased, right? And so... I'm starting to think that like perhaps rather than trying to like become unbiased is that we should try to embrace the the bias that we have and our bias our opinion is is a good thing because the more biased and opinionated we are the more unique our photos are and then the more they speak to our soul and I think that's the most important thing in photography is for us to make photos that reverberate with our soul and who we are and how we see the world so rather than saying that um, you know the having opinionated uh, biased photos is a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. And in terms of making more meaningful black and white photos, I you know, just simple things like photographing your loved ones, you know, you got kids, photographing your kids, um, photographing your wife, husband, partner, you know, friends, parents, whatever. And also even photographing yourself. I think it's it's really essential that you photograph yourself because, you know, it's it's crazy because um, I'm already 32 and I look at photos like uh, of myself selfies I shot myself like a decade ago I'm like dang like I've I've seen myself go through different iterations like you know when I used to be buffer skinnier fatter more cut lean you know whatever and it's uh, it's joy to see that uh, it's joyful to see that uh, change over time uh, also I do think that there is a joy of uh, photographing tragedy like death and stuff like that because. Uh, even when I photographed my grandfather's funeral, it was, you know, beautiful in the sense that, like, I was able to better appreciate um, life in general. And, and you know, I think, you know, that's, like, one of the big things from uh, that Nietzsche talks about in The Birth of Tragedy is that, you know, the ancient Greeks, um, the reason why they embraced uh, tragedy in the artworks was tragedy helped make sense out of tragedy and pain and sorrow in life rather than seeing that uh, you know pain and sorrow is a bad thing it actually enhanced and made life a little bit more beautiful um you know typical like simple things if you never shot with the rico gr2 before i recommend it use the shooting p mode flash uh shooting raw use the air kim presets download them for free or you know gr3 just the high contrast monochrome jpeg also works good or you know just Obviously, however you decide to do your monochrome black and white uh, film, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, change the exposure compensation, change the lighting situations, look for the textures and the details. And ultimately, there's no, like, right or wrong way to do it. Just photograph what you consider beautiful. And what it means to be meaningful is you look at it, it brings you joy, it brings you hope and uh, optimism and more excitement to keep shooting more photos in the future.